Future Tech Farm, Brian Falder. Good evening, Star Garden Ecosystem. I'm here tonight on behalf of the farm, Future Tech Farm. What farming should be. I'll properly introduce myself at the end, but first, I'd like to get right into why we're doing what we're doing, how we're going to do it, and what our plans are for the future. Let's start with why. Our story begins in the year 2050. Yes, 38 years away. Now, the U.S. Census Bureau already projects there will be over 9.3 billion people living in the world. Today, there are just over seven. The problem is extraordinarily simple. There isn't enough arable land on the face of the planet to feed that many people if we continue to farm the same way we do today. I believe we have to find a more sustainable way. Allow me to introduce to you what we here at Future Tech Farm have been working on as a contribution towards resolving this issue. Future Tech Farm is developing the world's first distributed farming platform of a singular decentralized farm with a physical and virtual representation. In simple terms, we build insanely great personal home grow systems and we connect them to the internet in a way that's never been done before. So what are our steps moving forward? Well, right now we're gearing up to do a beta launch which will consist of initial test systems, which will be of 10 full units. Um, I've already sourced a local tool builder who is committed to manufacturing the housings of the initial test systems. All of the other components will be taken care of entirely in-house. Over the past few months, we've been funded alongside Stargarden by the Kettering Entrepreneur Society and the Awesome Foundation. We're currently participating in the Michigan Clean Energy Venture Challenge. This is a business startup competition with a grand prize of $50,000. We've already made the first round of cuts and have been awarded a $2,000 microgrant so far. We're continually striving to build a strong network with key institutions right here in the great state of Michigan. So, Moving forward, right now, we're, we're working to raise enough money to eject ourselves from corporate day jobs and work on this venture full time. In the next three months, we'd like to expand our team with a much needed computer scientist and computer engineer, both whom have extensive experience in the development and startup realms. Thank you for your attention tonight. My name is Brian Falther. I'm a mechanical engineer, thinker, dreamer, and co-founder with Austin Lawrence of Future Tech Farm what farming should be. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Future Tech Farm. I'm, I'm still smiling from your presentation. Uh, apparently, you've watched some Steve Jobs keynote presentations before you went out tonight. Insanely great. Well done. I, I saw what you did there. Um, <laughs> and it's interesting, Brian, because I've known you for a while through, through Start Garden. Um, I know, I'm pulling them up. I just got a Facebook notification. So, um, <laughs> uh, somebody's like, is Mike really saying that? Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's good that it's not like on airplay or something like that. So, what, what's really interesting is um, the space that you're in is, is kind of part of that raw exploratory spirit that we saw of the homebrew computer clubs, which made your Steve Jobs references kind of a bit, sorry for picking on you for that. But there was a time in the 70s where these homebrew computer clubs that didn't have any venture capital or anything, they were all just exploring tinkering. And, uh, and I think that's where the farming space is going right now. The chart you put up is fantastic. It's explaining that in the next 30 years or so, it's projected, it's not proven, but it's projected that we're gonna have some real serious problems. And the homebrew computer club seems silly at the time, but they've completely changed how we create and communicate via computers, which, you know, like we're all on them tonight. It's kind of funny to think about that. And right now, farming hasn't changed in the past thousand years or so, right? Beyond some of the other stuff. 50 plus, yeah. Or Green 50. revolution. Yeah. Right. But, but in terms of growing plants and soil, not a whole lot of innovation has been going on in that space. So 
The interesting thing about your project, if anyone's been lucky enough to look at your Moleskine, which is just was when we met however many months ago, they're lucky because you've explored about a zillion ideas in this space. You know, you've, you've had a bunch of different things that you've pitched, and this is the one that you kind of came through that was a consumer good. And um, so we really dig your passion in rethinking farming, which is really uh, an emerging, emerging market. You know, this is before the bleeding edge. There's a, there's a lot of stuff going on in this space. And, and I, the other thing is it moves slow, so there's a lot to learn over the next few decades, not the next few years. Um, we're excited about your progress. You actually have sold one of the units that you brought up tonight, which is pretty beautiful as well. Um, the question you're still exploring and, and we're exploring with you is, is it ready for the market yet? You have a few months of testing that you mentioned in your update uh, that you want to do to explore. You've got 10 more units you want to build and things like that to see if you have a, uh, a market ready or a shelf ready product. And, um, Brilliant inventors are tempted to continue to experiment, which I, I would consider you an inventor. Uh, it's fun and it creates amazing products, um, but congruent focus on innovation and market feedback and being on the shelves and things like that are what kind of motivate us to invest, right? Because we want to see exponential in improvement on a, on a given product or a given space, and we want to see the, mar want to see the market saying, I'll take that, I like that. Um, so with that, we have a strong suspicion that you're going to probably need a biz dev or a sales side of your company to, to, to be you know, kind of part of as you move forward, someone that kind of handles that. Um, but we're also excited to announce that we'd like to move forward with $20,000 investment to get you to that point. <laughs>